All right, this is the Thor the Engine Kit Tour 2022. And away we go. So we're still rocking the same 97 Pearl Export re that's been refurbished. And still using all of my most loved brands, which are Pearl Drums, Sabian Cymbals, Vic Firth Drumsticks, Evans Drumheads. I am not sponsored in any way, but wouldn't it be nice if I was? <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. So, it's 97 Pearl Export refurbished with... It's changed a little bit, so that's why we're doing a second kit tour, so we'll get around to it. The snare is still the same, 91 Tama Rockstar Pro. And I have this newly acquired Ludwig hi-hat stand. Here, let me turn a light on so we can see it a little better. Yeah, I got that for 25 bucks at a garage sale. Can you believe it? A nice vintage Ludwig hi-hat stand, hi stand that I got for 20 bucks at a garage sale. Hip, 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 hooray for garage sales. All right. So, a couple things have changed, but we're still rocking the uh, Evans uh, HD dry on the snare. EC2s on the toms and the Evans EQ4 on the kick. Um, we're still using my uh, signature Sabian 14 inch Roctagon hi hats. And we got still got this 16 inch uh, Sabian XSR Fast Crash that's still going strong after two years. And this is a new addition the uh, 8 inch B8X Splash. I really like that thing. A lot of people knock the B8X line, but I think it sounds pretty... I think they're pretty okay for what they're worth. Um, my brand spanking new, newly acquired Sabian XSR Fast Crash. I just bought this one, brand spanking new this month. I've only had it for like four days, and I'm going to make a separate video on this symbol. This thing sounds tits. Anyway, we're moving on to my 18-inch Sabian AA Fast China. And down here, we got my Sabian XS20 21-inch medium thin ride, I guess. I don't know what it is. But then here is my, uh, my beloved 19-inch Sabian XSR Fast Crash that I've had. I bought this back in 2020 with my first stimulus check. And it's been the most faithful crash symbol I've ever had. I've had no problems with this except for one slight little oopsie. And that's all it got after two years. And I uh, repaired it. I did that. And this thing still sounds great. So that, after two, over two years now, I've had this thing. And... I, I love the Sabian XSR line. I absolutely love it. I, um, I have had nothing but good, good quality with these symbols and a good run out of them. So they are definitely worth the money that you spend on them. They're the more expensive symbols that Sabian makes. They're not like the AAXs and stuff, but they are a lot like them, and they are. Well, they're they're like I said, you know, some of the cheaper symbols that Sabian makes, but not they're they're the more you know expensive ones. They're not they're like the B8s and the SBRs for those Sabian junkies out there like myself. And that's that's it. And I'm still rocking Vic Firth Seven A's over there in front of my lovely 1983. Lakewood C122X I got from a fellow fan collector. But anyway, that's that'll do it for this video. Have a good one.